Hello and thank you for joining us. You are watching Inside Out. My name is Yvonne Mokondani. Now, following the announcement of the structured currency, the Zimbabwean gold on the 5th of April by the new Reserve Bank Governor, Dr. John Mosheavan, in a movement to solve exchange rates um, and a whole lot of issues that will be deviling us as an economy when we look at issues to do with currency. Um, there are still challenges, though, in as far as the transitions from the Zimbabwean dollar to the Zimbabwean gold are concerned. And the public is not really receptive when it comes to the new currency. We're talking about vendors, Vanuema, Takshop, Kumakombi. There are issues surrounding this new currency, and it seems as if people don't really understand where we are and what the, this currency entails, regardless of the time frames that were given by the central bank we still find ourselves in a more or less complicated situation so to help us with the conversation we're joined by two gentlemen in the studio here on inside out whom i'm going to ask to introduce themselves uh, starting with you sir i'm skumba rosbanda an mm -hmm. economist for zimbabwe coalition on debt and development mm -hmm. all right thank you for joining us Rico. most welcome Thank you very much, uh, Shikombor. My name is Dr. Charlie. I'm a RISE consultant. That mm -hmm. is research, innovation, strategy, and entrepreneurship. All right. Uh, I must thank you for having joined us today on Inside Out. And now today we're looking at the Zimbabwean gold, Mazig, Ariku, Arukunets. I'm sure that's the conversation. Iriku Pisa, Zimbabwe at the moment. And before they were introduced, every Zimbabwean sort of knew that we have a structured currency that is coming. Munoisangoda, could we have structured currency? Could we have structured currency? What is a structured currency? Um, uh, thank you, uh, Yvonne. Um, a structured currency is just um, uh, um, a local currency. Uh, which is uh, different from, from the Zimbabwe dollar we used to have, um, uh, which was merely a fiat currency, uh, which was not backed by anything. Now, okay. the structured currency is now a currency that is backed by um, a, a foreign a, a reserve assets, uh, such as, uh, um, a go, uh, I mean, United States dollars mm -hmm. and other hard currencies, um, and as well as uh, a gold, uh, which is... Um, not gold per se, but it's mainly gold, but they say precious mi uh, minerals, uh, which includes, I think, uh, our diamond, platinum, uh, and other precious mi uh, minerals. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, so when you're talking about a structured currency, it means it's got a backing of some sort in terms of minerals, like what you're saying. Yes. So is a structured currency the same as a national currency? Yes, this is our, our local currency now, mm. because if you look, the governor or the statement is saying um, the ZIG is now... Uh, replaced the Zimbabwean dollar with immediate effect. Mm -hmm. What it means is um, the ZIG is now the current uh, of use uh, uh, in Zimbabwe for settling all transactions uh, as well as debts, both public and private. So it's now uh, li our legal tender uh, which will circulate uh, together with other currencies because we are maintaining a multi currency regime mm -hmm. up to 2030. Okay. So the ZIG will circulate uh, just the way uh, Zim dollar was, was circulating with the USD. All right. Now, Dr. Charlie, let, let's look at the national currency per se. How important is it for, for an economy to have its own national currency? Does it affect national economy? Yes, it does. As I respond, I'll also get into our vernacular language for the benefit of our public. Okay. A national currency is very important mm -hmm. because it is cheaper to actually operate or run your economy using your own money. Tirukutu nechiva nchedu, jaka kosha kutitive ne mariedu ye muno sewa na wevu. Nekutika na ukashandi sa mario kunze yo mungwe. Tinoti mombe yukuro nzira, ukama wakaringa ji nzira, saka jino tidurira. Mm -hmm. So now, this is a conversation that we've had for a very long time. Chit maringenenya ye national currency. You know, some may be of the view that kotadi ngoita mariedu ya tinungo shandisa iri yege. Kanaidi Zimbabwe and gold. Tungo ziyoti suse Zimbabwe. This is what we are using primarily. Um, I thank you for that question. Um, uh, yes, I think uh, what we have, uh, the public must understand the context here. Mm -hmm. uh, that um, uh, since the uh, we dollarized the economy in 2009 mm -hmm. uh, uh, to try to term a hyperinflation and other uh, volatilities which we experienced uh, during that time. Um, we do, then we adopted the, the, the mod currents uh, with the US dollar dominating. And um, what uh, normally um, uh, economic historians, they can agree with me um, that um, 
normally uh dollarization uh, is 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 close to what I can call a permanent feature uh when uh if for instance if you look on other countries which dollarized before uh they are those which are still struggling to de-dollarize the economy. Mm. So, uh, because now the uh, economic agents, including the public, they have now enjoyed for a lo for extended period uh, the a stable currency such as uh, the United States dollar. So it becomes uh, a, a difficult for you to actually uh, tell the, uh, the pa transacting public to just switch to the local currency entirely. Um, and also we have to factor into account that our economy is actually... Um, in terms of production, we are not producing enough here that we are an import-dependent economy. Um, uh, and it means that there's m increased demand of foreign currency because we are buying uh, in inputs, we are buying everything from South Africa, China, and other countries. So if you are a net importer, you really need more foreign currency. So <laughs> it becomes a challenge now to say, uh, let's now use, uh, that's why you see um, the, the governor recently uh, uh, highlighted that it will not immediately uh, buy fuel because we are in a multi currency regime and um, um, the fuel demand, uh, look on what is happening on the global uh, market right now mm -hmm. in terms of the geopolitics and it's affecting uh, all global crude oil prices. And so it means we are going to face uh, uh, elevated fuel prices uh, going forward. So I think for me to be premature to just say, uh, let's now start to use ZIG uh, uh, in, in the, for the mm -hmm. whole transactions in the economy. And you bring in a, an interesting point, one issue that Zimbabweans are mainly concerned about, that we now have this new currency, the Zimbabwean gold that we have. How far are we going to be using it? Are we going to be buying fuel with it? Teacher Badala Maskufi is here. Kuma passport kuninge kuchitor wa Zimbabwe and gold here. E kuma license kuninge kuchitor wa Zimbabwe and gold here. These are questions that people want to know. And you've answered it partly to say, no, we're not immediately going to move in and be using it um, to buy things such as fuel. And the question maybe that an ordinary person at home would ask is why? Yes, let me come in there. What we are currently uh, confronted with is an issue of a long journey. I want you to imagine the children of Israel, the time they took to reach the promised land. I agree and concur with my fellow economists there. He mentioned the macro fundamental challenges that we confronted. I'll just quickly go back to 2009 when we had to make a bold decision either to remain with our continuously depreciating currency or to dollarize. And the decision was to dollarize. Mm -hmm. But either of these two decisions has got risks. That is the extreme of saying, let us continue to dollarize 100%, or let us go to the other extreme of saying zig only. Those two extremes have got their very significant challenges which will affect us. And what is better from a change management perspective is to use an incremental approach, which is what our central bank has been doing. Like you can see that we started with uh, gold coins. In fact, before gold coins, we had a 400 million uh, backed by Forex uh, Exim Bank, and then we had gold coins, and then we had this ZIG, which was usually the digital based uh, token and now we have the proper zig which is the structured currency so as i see it these are an incremental approach to take us to the promised land where we can have 100 percent confidence in our own local currency and summing it up it's an issue of confidence mm -hmm. which people are, are saying because we we threw this question on social media yesterday because we wanted to find out the views of the general populace and from what i picked what they were saying is if you want us to have confidence in this currency let's use it weight matters let's use it to buy fuel let's use it to pay for passports and then as an ordinary person so how then do we have confidence in a currency where i cannot use it on a day-to-day because you will agree with me that um, people now, the question that you're going to be asked, my US dollar mangan, that's what people are concerned about. Mm -hmm. My US dollar mangan. So, how do we get to a point where we are confident in it as our currency if we're not using it? Oh, okay. Um, uh, yes, I agree the issue of confidence because, you know, we have a long history mm -hmm. um, uh, since uh, that fateful day on. Uh, 
uh, November 1997 when we experienced the Black Friday when the same dollar crashed by mm. significant amount. And since then, uh, we've struggled up to a point that we uh, dumped our local currency in 2000, early 2009 in favor of, 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 the, Z, of the U.S. dollar and other uh, uh, foreign currencies. Um, and, you know, along the way, uh, people lost their savings, you know, Warimi, Warukwanwarimu, <laughs> all kind of mm. um, uh, 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 people, especially those from marginalized communities, underserved communities, they suffer the most when we do all these changeovers time and over again. Uh, so this has uh, now affected uh, the, 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 the public view when it comes to the reintroduction. Because remember, Yvonne, uh, we recently introduced uh, the Zim dollar in 2019, early mm. 2019. And uh, now we are many years now, we are introducing another currency. Mm. And it means along the way, people are losing their savings, people are losing the value of their money. Um, for instance, uh, you are saying um, the uh, combis must continue to actually use um, uh, the bond notes, but you are saying the rate at which uh, you are exchanging those bond notes um, uh, at RBZ using the ZIG was th actually one US dollar to 33,000. Mm. But you are saying the rate which was used in the informal sector was uh, one US dollar was about 6,000 bond, yeah. uh, which means 50 cents was 3,000. But mm. for now, if you divide uh, using the new regime, it means that. 50 cents, uh, the, the, those um, commuter omnibus must demand half of 33,000 in, in, in bond notes, you know. <laughs> so, so that's why people are rejecting it. So mm. th these are some of the issues. Um, but I think uh, it will be solved uh, as soon as they start to inject. Uh, by 30 April, they inject the notes. Um, but uh, the issue of confidence for me, uh, Yvonne, um, to regain now the public confidence, because uh, if you see on social media, people are... To, uh, their adverse uh, views of all over. Mm. Um, so what we really, really need to do is to address uh, issues which has led us to low confidence in the economy. One of the issues uh, is to address corruption. Um, and how do we do it? Look, when we introduced, um, for instance, bond notes, uh, we were told that uh, we had a 200 million facility of US dollars somewhere, which was backing our, our bond notes. But uh, it turned out that uh, the rate at which uh, the bond notes were depreciating was not in tandem with the uh, 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 U.S. dollars which was backing it. And now people are, are now confused. Say, if we had such a facility before and it failed, what is there now to ensure that we will not remain with now Zig but without gold? Mm -hmm. That's where I'm saying authorities must by all means try to increase transparency around the Zig issue. Um, by that, I mean we need constant auditing of those uh, uh, gold uh, and uh, cash reserves in Arabic state votes so that we have an independent maybe board, including both uh, uh, sector-wide, uh, something like that, uh, which constantly uh, audit uh, or uh, 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 overrides um, uh, the, the, that uh, arrangement. Mm -hmm. um, also, maybe going forward, if you can have maybe try to adopt, you know, advanced technologies. You know, now we're talking about, uh, look, the world is moving now. They're talking about artificial intelligence, etc., etc. But we have blockchain technologies, distributed uh, ledger technologies, which will actually help us to increase transparency in terms of the transactions um, so that we minimize human errors, a uh, falsification of documents, at etc. Mm -hmm. So to me, to build confidence, we have to address issues uh, such as lack of transparency, a particular elementary transparency from the central bank side. Now they must timelessly uh, publish, you know, those monetary aggregates. You know, in market analysts, they have to look around those key um, uh, uh, statistics such as reserve money, abroad uh, money, because they help them to make expectations. You know, markets, they, um, if you have a business, <laughs> you have to... Uh, I mean, foresee that in five years, ten years, or three months, six months, what will happen? But you have some increased volatility. Mm. It reduces predictability. You, you see? So, and then overall, I'm saying it just adds to cost of production, uh, cost of transacting in the economy. So, let's address issues around transparency um, and leakages of public uh, resources. I think that way will help uh, to increase confidence. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to add on to say there are a number of things that the Central Bank has done which enhances confidence. Number one, the Central Bank actually allowed the exchange rate 
to float freely from January. We saw it going down, going down. That inspires confidence because in any market, people require that let the exchange rate be market uh, determined. And that's what the central bank has done. The second thing that inspires confidence is whereby the central bank has actually said, not under my watch. These were the exact words of the central bank governor, Dr. John Pshawan, where they've since transferred balances from the central bank to the uh, treasury. And they've also said, no more printing press. That's another third mm. thing which inspires confidence. And because this is structured currency, it means at any given time, its value is meshed by the value of the gold and any other reserves upon which it is anchored. So there won't be any printing of money. But this again inspires confidence. Mm -hmm. But talking about confidence, you know, we, we, like you, both of you mentioned earlier that we've sort of walked this, this road before, right? And the issue of printing money has been said yes. now and again. How can Zimbabweans be assured that now that it has been said that no, we're not going to be a printing press, we're not going to be printing money willy-nilly, how do people then get to a point where they actually feel confident in those words? Because probably they've been told those words before and then along the way things changed. I have a response to that. I would want us to use this phrase that confidence starts with me and it has to be viral. So that when it starts with me, it infects the next person and it circulates amongst us. Confidence starts with me, it has to be viral, it infects the next person and it circulates amongst us. And for that to happen, it has to be anchored by a phenomenon that in our economic um, corridors we rarely talk about. This is patriotism. I see patriotism as a component that helps us to boost confidence. What is patriotism or who is a patriot? A patriot is any person who stops at nothing to ensure the well good of their country, regardless of the political <coughs> divide. Asikana tikati inindiri pachangu ndega, even isati yato buda zigi, ndote haisiku zoshanda. Nda peza ndo vandati, ndichato meka shua kuti haizu kuzo shanda, and ndichato ireta kuti irege kushanda. We always say perception is the reality. So my appeal, especially to all our markets, which are largely informalizers, we are all aware. Mm -hmm. And we know that the informal market is their own rules, their own reserve bank governor. My appeal, kwese kwa tiri vano tengesa, vano makamba na sina kurejestwa, doda utiti zive kuti, Ma decisions are tonga tichita, tichiramba mari nonga yauya, kana tichi reta ni mwere wedu watoda, zinu zunozo kwa tiri. Lastly, before I give opportunity to my colleague, I would want us to know that when that day we decided to dollarize, zataka ita, takatora chikwambu, kwa kuchisa mshamedu, do vatasia, eh, Vazimu wedu na mwari wedu wanga wajiti chengeta. Kwa kutora US dollar. US dollar chikwambo chatina acho. Mm. Kutiko zino tichibudi za chikwambo chia ndo paane dambu ziko. Mm. So it's not going to be very easy. It's going to be a tough work, but it's going to demand all of us in the private sector, in the public sector. I also need to mention what happened, which sometimes we don't usually speak in loud voices. Mm. As the public, we are normally quick to point corruption at the public sector. I'm not at all denying that we don't have corruption in the public sector. But rarely do we want to flag the corruption in the private sector. For example, we had a settlement where we said we we're going to draw on the interbank uh, exchange rate. What mm -hmm. happened? Banks, our banks, did corruptly. And we all know why that interbank exchange rate failed. Why? Because there are those who have a interest account and my interest. So this issue of uh, uh, taming high inflation, as I see it, I would say kudos to the central bank because of those things. One, they have transferred the balance. Two, no more printing press. Three, a structured currency. And four, as I see it, they are taking an incremental uh, approach as opposed to say today, Tatone Zig.
first mm -hmm. first back i think you remember uh, the government when they had said in 2025 that's the end of the uh, multiple currents mm -hmm. what did the private sector say they said no the economy we are not ready as it we are not ready it was 230 when there was that conference in vic falls immediately when the government listened to the people and said okay we are extending this multiple currents until 230 the very same private sector was awash in the mass media. They are now saying government is inconsistent. So can you see the, the double standards? Mm. And I bet you come to 2030, if the government says, let's buy the bullet, let us now have the zig, I assure you, we will still have voices from the market who says, we are not ready. But we are saying, let us kick out Chikpambo, the US dollar. No country is ever developed without its own uh, current. So Zig is the way forward. Mm -hmm. um, um, Pareiro, okay, uh, you, I, I just want to ask something okay. and you're going to say that and then answer my question as well. Yeah. Um, the doc here mentioned a number of issues and among them he said um, a lot of these things start with us, right? So he says, uh, but we are at a point as a nation where we do not have the cash in hand. And the central bank has said for now these transactions are going to be held online. You're going to be swiping, you're going to be sending money via the phones and everything but we don't do that komakombi we don't do that komosika so procedurally what should have been done decisionoitika when we make this pronouncement do we print the money first and then come to the public and say now we have a new currency or we tell you that we have a new currency and we're going to print it after 21 days um thank you um i will start uh, maybe with that uh, previous question on on confidence mm. um where i'm saying you know uh, a thriving uh, black market. You know, black market doesn't print money. Let's be honest. Uh, black market doesn't print money. Uh, the man which circulates and the man which you, everyone say, oh, black market is driving the, 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 the exchange rate. It comes from, you know, who is only responsible for Zim dollars or for Zig in Zimbabwe. All monetary things are responsible, is the responsi primary responsibility of the central bank. So um, let me give you an example. Um, in early 20, February 2019, we re introduced the uh, article RTGS dollar, and um, it, it continued to depreciate and fastly depreciating, uh, uh, and it forced authorities to actually um, uh, um, uh, give us uh, a, a new Zimbabwean dollar through SI142, if you remember June, 20, uh, June 2019, mm. uh, where they say it's now the monocurrency. Um, and then we now, over time now, we reverted back until we uh, uh, introduced the, 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 the auction system, uh, the Dutch foreign auction system. But uh, believe you me, uh, when we introduced that system, um, initially the central bank said we are going to uh, guard against uh, excessive money printing, uh, particularly on reserve money, uh, and treasure also committed to, 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 to fiscal discipline. And, you know, four or five months uh, after reintroduction of the after the introduction of the auction system, we witnessed stability in both um, of, uh, of parallel and official markets. The premium actually was falling and falling up to a point when we were about to reach convergence. Why was that the case? Because there was fiscal discipline as well as monetary discipline. Um, how do you boost a confidence in the market? Say. No, we have, uh, the central bank saying we have monetary discipline. Treasury saying we have a fiscal discipline. We see it through the statistics. That's why I'm saying the reserve money, I mean the reserve bank, must always timelessly uh, publish key statistics. Because you need those statistics. If you are a business entrepreneur, a business owner, a CEO out there, um, you want to, 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 to project the future. You want to see where are we going. Are the authorities serious, uh, uh, serious on, uh, when it comes to taming inflation? The seriousness, you see it through the rate of growth of man in the economy. That's why I'm saying um, we know very well that for this year, we are facing an adverse economic outlook. Look at the El Nino induced drought. Look at the issues around um, uh, uh, energy deficit, energy prices, you know, even our debt. Our, our government recently uh, 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 has taken over RBZ debts uh, and they were transferred to the Treasury. What does it mean? It means now Treasury has to find more Zim Zig to actually service our debts mm -hmm. because our debt uh, is ballooned. We are talking about 7.7 .7 billion uh, 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 of debt. And of that, more than 70% is external, which means it's foreign currency. Mm -hmm. So it means th for this year, we are facing 
en enormous um, uh, uh, fiscal pressures, Yvonne. And this will actually force authorities to print. But we, if authorities are serious on issues to actually stabilize our, our local currency and attain durable stability, um, they have now to, to say, yes, we are, we are, we are, we are fiscally uh, 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 disciplined. Uh, here are the statistics. You know, that's why I say, let's publish statistics. Let's increase okay. transparency. And we hope we're not going to get to a point where we print money because that's, we don't want exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Now, to my question. now that, coming mm -hmm. to your question of mm -hmm. a reintroduction, yes, you know, um, for me, I know that uh, this process was, was a bit rushed. Uh, you can see from the uh, statements, you know, changing statements, uh, because when you say the RRT, we have introduced the ZIG and it is to work immediately. What does immediately mean? It means that you are saying from the 5th of April, mm. when the, actually the government announced that statement. But it was not supposed to work like that. It's just, for me, it was a, a little bit like a panic from authorities because the parallel rate was actually uh, 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 depreciating, Yvonne. We were talking about now 45, 50,000. And, uh, you know, th uh, that was something uh, the authorities tried by all means to, to, to avoid. But by doing so, that's when now we created these glitches uh, which we, we experienced. But normally, um, what must happen is that the central bank must announce in advance uh, that we are going to introduce a new currency, so and so and so and so. And then specimen notes, they published mm. and they shared widely with the, the, the public, maybe three, four or six months ahead. You, you, you get what I mean? Mm. And then the public is now aware, the features of the ZIG, everything. And now you give also time for injecting those notes. And it must be a gradual process. You know, in other countries, it can take a year or two. Uh, when, while it's the government saying, when you bring those bond notes to the bank, the bank now must just keep them and issue ZIG. And it be, must be a, 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 just a gradual process. Uh, but here, because it was something we did more like in a panic mode, um, we then now say, everything with immediate effect and then we forced our companies everything everyone to actually change their systems overnight mm. and which is a big challenge because we're talking of a whole economy and billions and uh, of, of 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 local currents which were supposed to be changed to zig and uh, maybe another question you know as a follow-up to that you know to yeah. say it should have been done maybe given a, a specific uh, time frame a very simple question to zimbabweans do you know the security features on the new notes do you know them, Dr. Charlie? Like, how does a $200 uh, ZIG note look like? What are the security features to look for? Do Zimbabweans know that? I agree with my colleague there in the sense that not much um, prior information was done so that by the time it is introduced, the public has full knowledge of all that. I do agree. Mm -hmm. But there are reasons, obviously, that back that. What we should also notice is as we debate, we have what we call theories. In any perspective, there is mm -hmm. a theory mm -hmm. to say when such a situation is like that, we should do this. But then theory does not always match practice. Theory is saying this is what we should do given this situation. But practice we all know, even in our homes, in the Gatara Nation, Jati no Ronga, Tilumba Medu, Chit Chazot, Chazot, Kanga and Nipat no Zota Dakuzita, Mamiria Zinu, Anunga Camila and Zira good Snogo Nakita Zia. Sakandrukutisa Kanga no good Zimbabwe economy is not a normal economy. We are in an extremely abnormal economy with significant external forces and pressures that would actually want to see this economy collapse. Mm. So that's why I continue to say thumbs up to the central bank, even the previous go governor. They've been doing a sterling job to ensure that our, co our country and economy continues to be afloat. So when you see a whole central bank mm -hmm. not doing what my colleague and ourselves you are agreeing, it does not mean that they did it deliberately. How many times do we ourselves as parents do we go to you know Zava and Agut Mufunge, Mamira Kaita Panapa, Manganam Changu Mamchenda, Amina Chekulia? Certain things we don't say it out. And when you don't say it out, it's not good. It's for the sake of being not being transparent outright. But it is actually also for the good of the nation. So I just want us to know that as we debate, we should know that theory and practice do not always 
match. There are mm -hmm. other contingencies around that then force strategic thinkers to take certain actions instead of they would have taken what would have been deemed to be the most appropriate. Mm -hmm. In less than a minute, your last words to the people of Zimbabwe regarding the Zimbabwean goal. Um, for me, I think um, the ZIG the Zig concept uh, mm -hmm. is, is actually a brilliant idea. What we really now need is political commitment uh, to actually ensure that the necessary reforms which are required to ensure that we smoothen the how our economy functions, we try to have, uh, address those structural rigidities causing pricing distortions in the market, current market, price market, goods market. Um, if we have political will, adequate political will, to actually implement those necessary reforms which we need so that we claim our uh, uh, debt and sustainability, uh, we try to reduce poverty um, and uh, rising inequalities in, in among our, 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 our societies. I think that way, ZIG, uh, um, and allow authorities period to actually build adequate reserves and ensure that w whenever they are increasing zig uh, man supply there is also corresponding uh, uh, increase in, in gold reserves uh, and for me since de-dollarization is not an overnight event i think um it's a, a long way and then for the zig to actually completely de-dollarize this economy it is also going to be a long way mm -hmm. let's take a gradual approach uh, and then also let's increase transparency, let the public know, let's engage every citizen, every stakeholder must be engaged at every level. I think that if we go that way, uh, the ZIG is going to maintain its value for a sustained period. Thank mm -hmm. you. Transparency and engagement noted as the key drivers uh, to the reception of the Zimbabwean gold and its sustenance when it comes to the Zimbabwean economy. How far is it going to take, it, it take us? Is it going to survive long? Are we going to get to a time as an economy where we're going to change currencies again? Hopefully not. This has been Inside Out. Gentlemen, I must thank you so much for having joined us on the program. Hopefully we're going to have you again where we discuss such issues of national importance. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, Yvonne. You're welcome. And until we meet again, hopefully next week, pleasant viewing. I think Tinga Tukura Sachivan. Sunga Gadzis was saying. Eh, the Nogutendai Eh, Wumba Dambuzi got a repon Doro Kuti. Eh, Richiriku only a quatri Michivan. Dambuzi got a good Tichirimu tap. Tichirimu tap or Tirgufunga to Tagaita Sununguko. At Tagaita Sununguko. Mukushitonga, Asiru Sununguko Minjera, Tina. Rwasara, Rusununko, Ruminjere, Ruguti, Tichet Takabat, Kwanjere Zedu, Zijiriku Funga, E. Mutauro, Ovachena, Zijiriku Funga, Tsika, Zevachena, Zijiriku Funga, Maitiro Echichena, Seo Maitiro Edu, Atunofana Gurara Manao. Asi Susu, Africa, Nagambos Gamum Taur, Mukurum Kuru Chaewe, Ingwe Nikash Taura, Chiti. Ah, Chunoshami Sandeche Guti. Eh, Africa is such a receiver with a Rusunugu Goroyo, Ruchaoya, Kanaya Sia, Mitiro Ishchen. Saka, a eh, Puzizisana, Kuri Moguti, Van Vago Ziva. Uyeje, Tochipinda Muguti, a eh, Timugurasika Quedu, Kurkuti Konze Rashakare, Kutaza Kubata, Pano, Pano, Fanira Kunge, Tichigona Ku ku kubudirira. Budiriro ya diri kuurai wane kune ne fungwa zati inazo. Fungwa zekuti chiji uche na uya. E, chinu chasari ili ira zonyi ima kompe. Rikendu vandango chitaura. E, Tunofunga kuti pacha papangota. Ah, illiterate, 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 whatever.